What does it mean if you are asked to bring a plate? An empty plate. Oh, I get it. Bring a plate. In Australia, bring a plate means to bring a plate of food to share. In this series, we'll learn about the English language. So next time you're asked to bring a plate, you'll feel more confident in sharing your dish with others and asking about theirs. It's all about coming together. Welcome to Bring a Plate. I remember we were at school once, and this was, I think, my first week at school. And I thought I already knew how to speak English, but obviously I, it wasn't the same English. This girl uh, said to me, oh, you want to go out? Look, I looked up and was like, we're outside? <laughs> <laughs> because now you want to go out? Yeah. I'm like, do we go any further out than this? I remember when I just came into Australia, like everyone says ta. Ta, ta, what's ta? <laughs> and yeah, yeah, and yeah. I found out that's thank you, and then, oh, that's what it yeah. is. And I think I was the worst. I knew English, but the pronunciation, the accent here was totally different, and I won't pick up the phone. <laughs> and my husband would say, why don't you pick up the phone? It's English. But no. <laughs> I know the pace that everyone in Australia speaks in it's so fast and can be hard to catch. I remember when I was first making friends and they would speak so fast and I'd have to constantly be asking, can you slow down? What was that? Excuse me. So yeah, it can definitely be daunting at first. Does anyone feel like dessert? Yeah, Seriously? that sounds great. Yeah? Awesome. So these are called maguinhas. Ooh, they look sweet. So, let's refresh ourselves on dish. That's D for describe the dish, I for ingredients, S for special. What story can you tell about your dish? And H is for how it's made and how to eat it. Depending on what country you are in in Africa, they come in different names. So for example, in Cameroon, they call these puff puff. In Botswana, maguinha. In Zimbabwe, fat cooks. And they are similar to donuts. Yeah, when you have them, they're sweet, a bit crunchy, depending on how, how long you cook them for, and they are soft on the inside as well. Great description, Lee. When do I get one? How to pronounce it in our proper way? Maguinha. Maguinha. Yes. Oh. Yeah. yeah, we have a very similar donut in the Philippines called pilipit, which literally means all twisted up. In Korea, it's the same way. We call it donuts, which is donut, donut to donuts. And see, in India, again, that they're not calling it donuts, but they're gulab jamun. And I thought it's gulab jamun lying here. Well, it sounds delicious, whatever you call it. Can I please have one? Same way, dipped in sugar syrup. Syrup. Uh, yeah. Yeah. See? Actually, normally with this dish, we don't coat it with sugar. I just wanted to add a bit more sweetness to it for today. But normally we put flour, sugar, salt, some yeast, a bit of water, um, and we have it as is. But yeah, I just wanted to share a bit more sweetness to it today. Yeah. Lee, Lee, you've made something magical with such simple ingredients. Like on special occasions or how does it work? Yeah, my mom used to make it all the time for us back in Zimbabwe. I remember being a little girl back home in Zimbabwe, and my mom would cook them often. Also, my Auntie Lillian. Auntie Lillian was like a maid, a nanny, and a cook all in one. She worked for us, but she was more like family. That's why we called her Auntie. After school, we would sit around and make maguinha together. She would ask my sister and I about school, and she would always make us laugh. When I was eight, we left Zimbabwe, but Auntie Lillian always stayed in touch with the family. 15 years later, we went back home to Africa as adults and met with Auntie Lillian. After all this time, she said, my sister and I had grown so much, so much had changed, but to us, she looked exactly the same. And every time I see Maguinha, I always think of her and the memories we share. That is so special, Lee. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Exactly. <laughs> well, speaking of sweet, I reckon we should tuck in. Yeah. yeah.
So, Lee, how else would you eat this dish? I know in Botswana they like to have maguinha with beef stew and veggies. Like a side dish. Yes, exactly. Some of the places they might like to have it with chocolate sauce maybe and some caramel, yeah. depending how you want to eat it. And sometimes some chili as well. Yeah, just to mix it between the sweet and the savory. Mm, but we love this version. Yeah. <laughs> well, can we make a toast to Lee? Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Lee. Thank you. What an amazing way to end our Bring a Plate meal. You can head to sbs.com.au forward slash learn English to find out more about our episodes and worksheets. We hope you enjoyed learning English with us and I hope I get invited to the next one. 